Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about more properties of exponents. And I want to simplify this problem. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. 2x squared y to the fourth times 4x squared y to the fourth times 3. All over oh, 3x. There we go. All over 3x to the negative third y squared. And double check and make sure I got everything, and I did. So a few things here. We could simplify the whole numerator, denominator, and try to work from there. What I try to do here is understand my properties better. This 3 in the denominator and this 3 up here can cancel. All right, they, they cancel each other out. We have a y squared here, but we have a y to the fourth up there. So y squared down here goes away. This fourth power becomes a second power, right? We subtract from 4 minus 2 is 2. This one's a little tricky. We have x to the <coughs> negative third power. Well, we look at the exponents here. 2, right, like base, 2 minus a negative third is like adding, right, let's put it over here, 2 minus a negative third it's the same thing as plus a positive third, which is 5. So if I eliminate this down here, this exponent is to the positive fifth power. Now I have nothing left in the denominator. So let's rewrite this. Okay, let's put all of our, let's say, numbers first here. We have 2 and a 4, right, got those down, times x squared, so the x's, and then we have x to the fifth power. We have the both x's here. Oh, and that one x over here. Can't forget that. Then we have y to the fourth power here. Let's bring the other y, which is now y squared. Let's make sure we got it all. Two here, put a dot underneath it, dot under here, got the four. Got this x squared right here, and this x to the fifth power as well. And that x right there. We have y to the fourth power here, and this y squared there. So now we've got everything down on one clean line. Let's simplify it. Two times four, eight. x squared times x to the fifth, add the exponents x to the seventh power. Oh, <laughs> don't forget the other x. Almost did. Classic mistake. Good thing I caught it before I finished the video. I went ahead and restart. We have x to the seventh plus another one here, which is x to the eighth power. Okay. And then our y's, same base. Four plus two is six. So now our final answer is eight x to the eighth power, y to the sixth power. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you. So, as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help, you use minute math. Minute math, minute math, when you need help, you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com